Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to get the new Cydia on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Um, it is not available to download officially, but you can go ahead and um, jump through some hoops and go ahead and get this new version. So I'll be showing you that one way. There are two ways to do it, but, I'll, but I will be showing it to you one way. So what you're going to have to do is go ahead and open up Safari and go ahead and enter a link that will be in the description. Um, it's kind of long. If you have any way of copying and pasting it, that would be easier, but you have to go ahead and copy this link into Safari. And before we begin, um, to do this method, you'll need Safari Download Manager and iFile installed on your device for this to work. You definitely need iFile for both options, but this is for one of the options. So we're going to go ahead and load this web page here. And it's basically just a link to the new version of Cydia. We're going to go ahead and hit Download to when, you have, when Safari Download Manager prompts you to. So when it brings up this little uh, file browser, you need to go to var mobile library. Then you might need to create a new folder, depending if you have it or not, called downloads. So var mobile library downloads with a capital D. And go ahead and make that folder. And then once it's there, we're going to hit save. As you can see, I already have the copy right there. So it's already saved and we're all good to go. So it doesn't take long to download. It's only a couple megabytes, nothing much. Um, now to install this, you will need iFile, and um, you can get that either in Cydia by paying for it, or through, if you do not want to pay for it, you can get it from the Insanely iRepo. Um, either way, that's what you need to do to go ahead and install it. So now we're going to go ahead, and once we've downloaded it, we are going to go ahead and launch iFile. And once we're on iFile, we're going to go back to that library, or that uh, location, VAR Mobile Library. We're going to go to Downloads. We're going to tap this thing right here. We're going to hit Installer. It's going to go ahead and install it. It's unpacking it. Finish with result code zero. That should be good. It's a good sign. We're going to go ahead and hit Done. So now, once it's done installing, just respring just to be sure. I don't think you actually have to respring, but it won't hurt you to go ahead and do so. And once we once this thing resprings, I will show you the new Cydia on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock here. And let's go ahead and launch Obsidia. Um, let me go ahead and turn on my Wi-Fi here first, actually, or else it will not work. Sorry, guys. All right. And now let's go ahead and launch Obsidia. All right. So it looks art. It already looks different, as you can see. It has a new loading screen, and uh, the bar up here is a different color, whether you can tell in the video or not. And it just seems to start up a lot faster and things like that. Um, as you can see, the main app, the home screen, still is the same, uh, still has the reloading data. It seems to be a bit quicker, but um, everything, for the most part, looks the same. Um, see, the, the, the major differences are how it loads changes. It seems to be a lot quicker. Um, that's a major difference. And then when you're installing multiple packages, you hit install, and instead of hitting cancel, continue queuing, you can just go ahead and tap continue queuing. So that basically shows that I have the new version of Cydia installed on your device. Um, for the iPad, it does have some ca compatibility issues when in landscape mode, but you can go ahead and still try it out because it's better than the older version. So yep, that's it guys. This is not available to download directly through Cydia, so you have to do it this way. The other way to do this is you still have to download it. You can download it on your computer, then SSH into your phone, but you still have to install it with, um, with uh, iFile. So there's, those are the two ways to do it. Um, this way is probably the easier ones. You don't need a computer. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it now. So I hope you liked this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at AppoSex. And thanks for watching.